Gator Rounds has declared a draw. Sean Brockmo will have to step in and pick the winner. Jan Finney says good job to Misha Tate. These styles clashed and not in a very positive way. I feel bad for Finney giving a valiant effort and performance. Misha Tate advancing. She will clearly have a tough task ahead of her with Caitlin Young who spent less than a minute inside of the ring and now we move on to the 125 pound side of the bracket take it away paul we go to the tail of the tape we see here that babcock comes into this fight with a five and two record against colin ox two and oh the heights dead even at five foot five babcock one pound lighter than colin ox colin ox also the junior fighter by seven years now with the particulars out of the way, let's take it to the ring for this first round action. Jen Babcock on the left, Nick Lee Kalanok on the right. These two are pretty good friends. Uh, we had to switch around the tournament to make things work just a couple of days ago. These two reluctantly said, yeah, we'll fight each other. So here we are, another first round tournament match. Referee Sean Brockmo brings the action. And we are underway. Babcock with a low leg kick. Kalanok responding with a couple of jackhammer lefts and rights. Lunging front kick from Babcock and an overhand right. That grazes the chin of Kalanok. Oh, nice leg kick from Babcock there. Oh, jab from Nick Daly. Babcock in trouble. Kalanok swarming all over Babcock, and just like that, it's all over. You cannot blink during these female tournament fights. The women once again stealing the show. Nick Dilly Kalanok in emphatic fashion advances to the semifinal round of this tournament. I don't think Jennifer Babcock really got to show what she's all about. As you see that that left catches her and I think stuns her long enough to where Nick Lee, look at those uppercuts and dirty boxing, drops Babcock to the ground and the 19 year old Nick Lee Kalanok is going to advance to the semifinals. Here's another look. Watch as he clenches the back of the head. Bam, big uppercut. And Babcock hits the ground and Kalanok is gonna advance. Babcock needing a moment to get her head together and you can see the, the friendship very evident here. Kalanok actually looking a little bit upset about this uh, turn of events. I guess it's never a good day when you have to punch your friend in the face. So in mere moments, Nick Dilly Kalanok dispatches her friend, Jen the Dilemma Babcock, to advance to the semi-final round of this eight-woman tournament. Very impressive performance from Nick Dilly Kalanok over Jen Babcock. And uh, Nick Dilly will be facing the winner of Jordan Sprague and Patty Lee. Paul, take it away with the tail of the tape. And as we look at the tail of the tape, we do see clear records of 0-0 for both fighters. Patty Lee coming in at 5'5", 2 inches shorter than Jordan Sprague. The weights, 124 for Patty Lee, 121 for Jordan Sprague, and Patty Lee being the older fighter by four years. So without further ado, let's take things up to the hook and shoot ring. This is the third elimination match in this eight-woman tournament. Jordan Sprague was very, very nervous last night. You can sense the nervousness. Jordan on the right, Patty Lee on your left. Neither of them have had a professional mixed martial arts bout, but that's about to change in one second. 
Lee coming across the ring, taking command of center ring as Sprague circles, pawing with her jab. Hard low leg kick dealt by Lee. Now, Patty Lee, quite proficient in Muay Thai, also trains with uh, Team Jurgel in Jiu Jitsu. Oh, Jordan Sprague takes a right and gives one right back. Another blistering low leg kick from Lee, and Sprague does not want to take too many more of those if she does not want her own mobility to be affected. Now look at the jab of Jordan Sprague. She's doing it uh, a textbook. She keeps pumping the jab, and they're pretty quick and crisp, keeping Patty Lee away. Sprague, very young. She is the lightest girl in the tournament. Realize that this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, a great opportunity for women to break into Bodog fight. Now Lee trying to jab her way in, but Sprague almost like a jackhammer with her left hand, making it very difficult for Lee to close the distance. Lee with another hard leg kick. Oh, Lee goes high with a kick, and Sprague deals a right hook that ends up slamming into the ribcage of Lee. Now, I will tell you this, outside of the ring, Jordan Sprague does not look like a fighter at all. But as, as she's demonstrated so far, I mean, she's throwing a jab and pumping it out there better than most men do. Keeping her hands up high, looking for an opportunity to unleash the offense. The heavily tattooed Lee going for a kick and then thinking better of it. Originally from Taiwan, moved to the United States in 1990. Didn't speak any English. Said she learned how to speak English because the other kids made fun of her and thought it was cool that she didn't speak English and they taught her the cuss words to start. Said she got in a lot of trouble for cussing. <laughs> right leg kick by Lee. Countered with a punch from Sprague. You can see the Muay Thai experience of Lee, how she closes the distance by inches, by very small steps, which is a trademark of Muay Thai practitioners, making sure that they're rooted to the ground at all times and ready to unleash power strikes. Muay Thai is not about accruing points and throwing pity pat strikes. It's about doing damage with every single punch and kick. And we see that being done right there. You hear the smack of shin on thigh as Lee lands yet another kick to the thigh of Jordan Sprague. Oh! Siding high kick collides with the head of Sprague. She was momentarily rocked, but gets right back to her feet. And now it looks like Lee may have had some sort of problem with her eye, but Sprague pressing the advantage.